Hey guys, I am Judah and Katie is with me once again. Hello. And we are on oh. vacation. We are actually at Yellowstone at this very moment. That's true. So we planned this. Um, I like to do a family vacation once a year. That has kind of died. And I think Katie is going to be my surrogate. Well, she is my stepsister, so I guess technically. Oh, uh, whatever. And AJ I'm and still Cass. Kind of fake family, you are fake there. family. AJ and Cass are here, my cousins. AJ mentioned he wanted to go to Yellowstone. I was like, that's it. That's what we're doing this year. We're going to Yellowstone. So we made plans. We got our tickets. Katie and I sat together. We looked at all the times and we picked out what worked the best. We thought we will arrive in Bozeman and we have plenty of time to make it to our camp, set up, and maybe even do a trail during that day. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but life has a way of saying no. Life doesn't have a way. American Airlines. American has a way. Airlines. They switched up our flight so many times. Uh, by the time it was all settled, we would be getting here so late. We would have been setting up in the dark, which we still did. So we decided to switch our campsite from Canyon to Mammoth. Now, it was so hot. I ended up going to bed in just my underwear. And I had the <laughs> flaps open. Not on my underwear, but he on my He was talking tent. about his underwear yeah. flaps for sure. And the next morning I had to put on a hoodie and I was talking to the guys and asked them what they did the, the day before and they said they went fishing and I was like how far did you go and they're like oh there's just a creek a little ways down there and me and Katie we believe me we had just gotten up out of our tents that's it it's like fresh in the morning Katie's got her cup of coffee and I'm like oh, okay I'm gonna walk down there in case like, I'll join you in her pajamas mm -hmm. this walk was not just a little walk this was like a full-on hike and it wasn't just down the road it was, it was quite cold it was a it was a distance but we made it down there and we came back so that was that was our very first hike of the trip it was nice we got to hear the elk in the distance and uh, some really scary pack of uh, coyotes off there as well the guys they're just here for fishing they're gonna spend maybe one day maybe doing uh, old faithful and some geysers with us but mostly I think they're just gonna be doing the fishing Katie and I headed to the Mammoth Springs. Mammoth Hot Springs, that's yes, right. Yes, that's right. I liked it. There's like this cool boardwalk built up all over. Yeah, it's nice. It's busy. There's a lot of people around. There was. And uh, I, I would love to like jump over the boardwalk and go, but there's all these signs everywhere that have this like thin, uh, like thin crust. You may fall into burning water. So that definitely kept me from doing what I would generally want to do. Another thing that annoyed me is there's tons of hats in the hot springs, which I don't know if that's some kind of thing people throwing in their hats or maybe it's too windy. I, I don't know, but there's a lot of hats and it annoyed me. But at the same time we were doing the mammoth, we saw a nope rope, a snake came across. It was a decent sized snake. I don't know, meh, two, two and a half feet. But then we went to Wraith Falls. On our way there, we saw like buffalo just Yes. Walking, no, eating. They're just right there on the side of the road, eating. Katie and I are taking a short half mile walk up to Wraith Falls. She's back there chomping on some uh, pork rinds. Where is she? There she is. I went up to the, the sign to see how long the trail was. Thought Katie was behind me. And I was uh, talking to her, but when I turned around, it was a guy and his wife. And he said, thanks, hon. Made it to Wraith Falls. There it is, everybody. There's Katie. She survived, almost choking to death on her pork rinds. So this is going to turn out to be a good trip. Uh, Katie found somebody said to... Yeah, sort of like a cheat code. Yeah. Uh, there's a... If you go to Lava Creek picnic area, I think it is... There's just a short hike to Undyne Falls, and it's like, you're like right there. It's very loud, it's very beautiful, and no one else was walking there. We could see the people out on the other side, like doing yes. an overlook from across the road, and I, I think it's impossible that they would have and had as good a view as no, we did. No, oh no, not at all. And they we were, were so we far were right away. over there, so that was a, that was a good We were good right there. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good surprise. I didn't know what we were going to see there at all. And so, yeah, when we reached our destination, I was definitely like, oh, this was a good one, Katie. Good job. As we're doing that sightseeing. That's true. That's true. Um, Sheep Eater Cliff. 
That was cool. Yeah, it was. Again, the name attracted me. That just seemed... I wanted to see some sheep getting eaten, but the only thing that was there was a fat guy having a picnic. And I don't uh, know if yeah. it was... He didn't have gee rows either. I believe sheep eater is a, the nickname of a, an indigenous <laughs> people that <laughs> lived there is what I think the sign there, said. There was a sign uh, there. But, but this yeah. place, this was very cool. The rock formations were amazing. Reminded me a lot of Devil's Tower. And Ruben, I don't know if this story, I'm, I don't want to throw this on Ruben. And I love my brother. He has some interesting thoughts, as, as do I. But he or somebody he knows believes that Devil's Tower are the remains of a giant tree. Whereas most scientists tend to believe it was a volcano and the outside of the volcano fell off leaving the inside mm -hmm. but it, the, the shapes are very cool very cool it's weird it is cool but it's also weird it looks almost like it's man-made they're like sort of it does it's columns, very geometrical but they're falling apart yeah, into it's little chunks and it's very, very cool. like layered it doesn't look uh natural but it is Unless uh, it was made by aliens, which true. again would also be natural at some level. So exactly. it looks pretty natural. And <laughs> at this at this point, Katie decided to jump in the river. That's true. What was it, Garden River? I think we decided it was. Garden and she uh, uh, traversed down the river as I... Yeah, I was just waiting on the rocks. I took the, the, uh, the trail, the dirt trail. It was a little trail. slippery. I, didn't, I, I thought I might fall in a couple times. I kind of had to like crawl a little bit. But she did I, do some baby crawling. I she, made it. She Ow. also found this really awesome stabbing stick. Oh, that's so true. She was very, very good stabbing much stick. into the stabbing stick. It looked like stick. a little, uh, like a little tiny sword with it a did. hilt. It was like the gnarl of a tree that was just shaped perfectly. I'm walking and I, I occasionally turn around to see if I've lost Katie or not. And I, I look behind me and I see Katie with this little stick in her phone just trying to make poses. <laughs> I like, know. Well, I was thinking like, about bringing it home, but I left it behind. It, it was very was sad. I had a little ceremony for very it. Very funny. Katie had Washburn, Mount Washburn, Mount Rock Washburn on her list of good trails. I I don't know anything about this, but we saw it as we're driving. So you were like, "Hey, that, that's on my list. Let's stop." We stopped. Yeah, we read the sign, that sort of thing, and actually there were tons of bear warnings. Like more oh, yeah. more than almost all the trails have a bear warning. Bathrooms have bear warnings. Bear warnings everywhere. Yeah. But this trail was like, "You're gonna die if you don't take your bear spray." Oh yeah, been a lot of, They were like. We don't even recommend you hike this in September, October, because there have been so many bears. I'm not going to lie. After reading all of those bear warnings... We don't have bear spray because no. we're idiots. Well, we saw it in... It's 50 bucks. In the general store, yeah. And we are like, 50 bucks, and we both looked at each other, and we are like, eh. I mean, my strategy, yeah. again, is just to follow hikers that look experienced who probably have bear spray in their bag. Just follow them up the hike, you know? Which we have not done. Well, we tried yet. today, but we got. That dude, this dude he was really, fast. Yeah, he booked it and we I got think, left behind because we are not really experienced. No. I, th I think he knew what we were up to. He was like <laughs> a couple of greenhorns back here trying to mooch off my bear spray. I think he was trying to use us as bear bait. Yeah, he was. He's He was off in the distance somewhere just waiting for us to get eaten. Yeah, so we sure. go to. We start driving again back on the loop and then we see the sign and it's a very thin road and there's like off the edge oh yeah and we're going up it's and we're on the edge that. that's bunch of assholes driving down yeah that these road. people have like maybe three or four feet on and their a lot side of them are big trucks and they're and just SUVs. trying to put like where are we gonna we're like, the only place we can go is off the they edge were, they weren't making room for me no. that's true when i was driving yeah there were some were but there were quite a few that were just like fuck you guys yeah my favorite part is during this harrowing drive this is when katie decides that she needs to open up one of her packs of olives yeah dude i did i was hungry <laughs> and not only was it just it, it, she she was using both her hands to do this and i'm freaking out and i'm like could you have picked a better time to open up this pack of olives and try to eat them i love to while... live on the edge you know so we also, make it. Dude is not dead. He could have driven himself. That's true. <laughs> oh, which by the way, Katie is a lifesaver. I get very anxious when I'm driving places that I am not familiar with. 
So she's definitely my safety blanket in this mm -hmm. situation. While eating olives with no hands on the wheel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's driving <laughs> up this second. mountain with her knees. Dude, I was freaking out. It was actually totally fine though, wasn't it? Did you shit your pants? We survived. That's the best I can say that is that bad. we survived. So we get up to the top. We look around. It was insanely windy up there. It was insane. Thought Katie was going to get blown away. We start going back down. And as we're driving, this is when Katie decides to start pulling out her bottle of water and <laughs> takes her hands <laughs> off the wheel. And I'm like, hey, hang on. Can we stop? Can you just work <laughs> out everything you need to do right now before we start going down this? No. Anyway. But you know what? I didn't text anyone. But mostly because I didn't have service. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have texted. <laughs> so we make it back. We, we sit down. We had some fun with uh, Cass and AJ talking about some silly things. Katie read herself some poetry they brought some beer yes katie did some sweet trading with aj she traded some of her olives for uh, a couple it's cans precious. of beers and aj precious thought stuff. said that he uh that was a really good he thinks he made a really good deal on yeah. that uh obviously yeah, so they were about anyone in this park would trade me something rad for olives I almost traded my life for your olives <laughs> anyway <Get set> up. <laughs> thank you i have but okay so <laughs> katie literally when we got here they at uh aj and Cass were like what did you bring and she's just kind of like olives. pretty much just olives <laughs> that's not exactly true no she has more but she she has a lot of olives um and me i just got a couple cans of soup and some apples and stuff and Generally, He's lying to you. He also got pop tarts. I did get pop tarts. Those are the stuff. I got our organic pop tarts, and they gross. and they suck. They're so bad. I would have rather gotten the GMO pop tarts than this organic stuff. But I usually just eat this soup or these chilies cold. But they started a fire, and I warmed it up, and it was way better. But we all, me and me and Katie, kind of just are slumming it when it comes to food. It's true. But I generally, Katie's a foodie. She uh, used to have a a magazine called Edible Michiana. So she's really involved. She loves her food. So she's really slumming it this week. Me, I, I generally <laughs> do. I mean, I'm, I'm not too far from what I generally eat other than I do heat up my food at home. But Cass and AJ. They've been making cold brew coffee, which sounds fancy, but it's just lazy campground coffee. It's, no, it's thinking. It's, it's like working smarter and harder. Coffee, tea, tea coffee. Yeah. Anyway. But Cass and AJ, man, these guys, Cass is making sautés. Man, That's I took true. a photo of this like stuff. Like a fajita out yeah. there. Yeah, this dude is yep. just like, they grilled themselves up some steaks yep. last night. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. And me and Kate are munching on our apples. Yeah, I'm eating a beef stick. <laughs> exactly. That's what we're but doing. But it's a nice one, you know, an epic brand. She, Don't worry about it. <laughs> she, she likes her, her beef sticks. Who? That's true, I do. <laughs> it's been really hard not being able to look at Bumble on this trip. <laughs> you know you wanted that joke. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, so this is our first day. Well, technically second. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated. Later. Bye.